I really believe in playing quickly. Let's go. Boom, go, go, go. Division one for the last two years and we went to uh, the second round my first year last year we made a little run to the semifinals and uh, so we're looking to improve upon that obviously for this year I just think it's gonna take that extra push of effort and uh, everyone on the same page and everyone dialed in and we just got to win two more games we got to keep our intensity up from the beginning of the season right to the end I think last year we kind of we were on and off and we never stayed consistent but I think our team is more talented this year and I think we're ready to do it and I feel like we can go farther and just being that close and just coming up short makes me want to push the team harder and get there for my senior year. Good job with two hands. There's no such thing as fast break baseball, but if there ever was that term, that's what I kind of would like to model it after. Deal with the contact. It's going to happen. Out of boy. If we can dictate some tempo by getting on the field and off the field and, and just the way that uh, our pitcher works on the mound and, and even offensively, um, I think then we can kind of be at our best because that's the way that we function on a daily basis. Coach, he's, he's really high intensity. He really brings the effort to practice. We feed off his energy. Good job, good job! He's a character, but he's definitely someone you want to play for. If he's going to fight for you, uh, no matter what happens, if an umpire may get you on a bang-bang call that you, you think you are safe on, he's going to come out there and he's going to plead his case. He's definitely someone that you want to play for. Sir, sir, it's a great job. It's a great job, but you got lucky. Hey, hey, let, let, let's be out there. Let's be out there. Don't take that thing behind you. You know better than that. He's really into the game and he wants the best for us and nothing less and we ju he just pushes us to the max and that's what brings out our potential in games. Sir. Hey, that is, we don't do that, son. You don't ever run. If this guy would have been smart, he would have gone as soon as you turn your back and started chasing the guy. Right? We don't run this way to have to throw this way. Get the ball in the hands of the guy that can see the field. Pitchers, this is like, okay, I mean, I mean that's fine. If it's your first year on varsity, I get it. We're going to have a growth curve. It's going to happen. But you guys that have been here before, and we've gone over this, and we practiced this all year last year, I don't understand the brain fart that we're having. I don't, I don't understand it. He's a great coach. He's a, he'll harp on you sometimes, but it's always with a good message, and uh, he, he teaches you a lot. Again, I have the same thing. Gentlemen, that's twice now where I got guys popping up. You're going to cost us a double play automatic. Stay down. Blake Archuleta is uh, obviously one of our team leaders. Um, he is uh, the quarterback on the football team, and he has played, this will be his third year on varsity. He's been a rock for us. Um, you know, he'll, he'll be a key cog in, in what we're doing uh, on the mound and at the plate. And he's probably going to bat in the middle of the lineup. Outside of that, you have uh, uh, Jaden Allen, who is uh, going to play center field for us. This will be his third year on varsity. He's also a team leader for us, and he's, uh, he's done it all. Uh, um, from a baseball standpoint. He is Blake's wide receiver. They have a great relationship. Um, you know, he runs down a bunch of balls for Blake, throws some guys out on the bases. Uh, last year had a great game, threw out three guys in a game against San Clemente, and we're, we're looking for him to be that impact guy, lead us in the outfield. Our connection is very strong. We've been playing together for three years on varsity, both baseball and football, so I trust him with my life, and he trusts me when he's on the mound and throwing me balls on the football field, too. He brings a lot of... Um companionship and leadership and uh, we're on the same page all the time because as a wide receiver quarterback we're always on the same page and since he's a center fielder we don't usually miscommunicate. Aaron Brown, he's, uh, 
he's the ASB president, so he is, uh, you know, he's our political leader on the uh, team, and uh, he does a great job. He's a team leader. He's going to pitch for us. He's just a rock at third base. Like, he's, he's become, um, he started off at second base last year, and we had to move him over there, and, and now I can't dream of him playing someplace else. I would describe my game as a guy that can get on base, get the job done for the team, you know. I can be a team leader as well, and, you know, I just pick up my guys. You have Daniel Brionis behind the plays a sophomore. Um, and uh, he kind of emerged last year. He's committed to San Diego State. He might be the best catch and throw guy I've ever coached uh, in my time. This is uh, my 17th season as a, as a head coach. So, um, and he's, he's, he's just a special talent. I just try to be aggressive, um, everything I do. Be a vocal leader when I'm out on the field, letting guys know what to do. And uh, then I would say Tyler White. He started as a freshman last year. He played second base for us. Uh, was an area of need, and he won that job outright. He's probably going to end up playing right field for us. He's got a really good arm from the outfield. He's as fast as you can. So with combining him and Jared in the outfield, we have a, uh, an outfield that can cover some ground, and, and, then, uh, and he has a big bat. Uh, I would describe myself as a five-tool player. I'm a vocal leader in the dugout. When I, I try, to, try to keep everyone in the game, even when we're maybe losing by that one or two runs. Just try to keep everyone in the game, keep keep the game going, make the game fun for everyone. I want three on mommy. One, two, three. Oh,